Hello and welcome to episode one of Road to the World Cup Australia with Bradford City and our new manager Craig Andrew. He's one of my subscribers. Um, make sure you go and check out his channel and follow him on Twitter. He's a top bloke. He's been with me for a little while and I just want to reward some of my subscribers by getting them involved with some of the series that we're doing here. So we're taking Bradford City, which is Craig's favorite team, and we're going to uh, uh, rebuild them. We're going to send out youth scouts to Australia. And we're going to try and build a side for the World Cup with Bradford City. And hopefully we can take Bradford City up to the Premier League, and if not further. Now, most of this series will be simming until we get the opportunity to take a hold of Australia. And then we'll be start playing all the games as Australia. Now, if you'd like me to play a couple of games here and there as Bradford City so that you can see some of these players in action before they get that World Cup call up, uh, let me know in the comments and we'll see if we can slot a game or two in here and there. But most of it will be simulated, at least for the first couple of seasons, uh, while we're building this squad up. And that's just how we work with a, a Youth Edition series. So let's get into it. Let's have a look what our objectives are for the season. So the Domestic Cup objective for this season is to reach the stage of 32. Hopefully that's reasonable. And the league objective is to, where are we, fight for promotion. So hopefully, you know, I'm not 100% familiar with this squad. So we'll see what they can do, especially when we're not playing with them. So hopefully they're good enough to stay mid-table, fight for promotion. That would be an ideal world. And we can get a bit more cash, find some better scouts, and get some better players into our squad. But without further ado, let's get into it. So what we're going to start with is uh, the typical sparring DK 4-2-3-1 formation. Uh, let's have a look here. We've got Hansen up front, Yates, Clark, and Murray across the front there. Knott and Liddell controlling the midfield. Meredith, Davies, McKenzie, Darby across the back, and Williams in the goals. We've got Zoko, McArdle, uh, Steed, Dolan, McMahon, uh, Rute, Sheehan, McLean, Halliday, and then a whole heap of shit blokes with no faces, which I pretty much want to get rid of ASAP, because there's nothing that shits me more than a man with no face. So we've got 650 grand with a 6,000 wage budget. We're pretty much gonna spend most of that on scouts uh, to send to Australia. And I'm gonna scout England as well, just to try and get some youth talent uh, getting through Bradford City, as a lot of these players are quite old and we need to build a fresh new team that will help, you know, get them up to that level where the players can grow and the Australian team can fit right in. So first thing you do when you start a youth squad is you get yourself a youth scout. Now what we have here is a 42 grander in David Burdett. Uh, not much chop, he's probably not going to find us anything special but for the first three months until we uh, assess our cash, maybe sell some players off and see if we can get a little bit better scout uh, in three months. But for now we'll take David Burdett. Alright so our scout is ready to go, let's send him down to Australia and see if he can find some homegrown talent. Three months. Okay, our first monthly scouting update from Australia and Jacob Oxborough is a 47 to 65 goalkeeper. Absolutely shit. Kareem Williams, oh, 68 to 90. He is going to be our first signing. Get him in the club. And Poscalioro is not good enough. New squad monthly report. Karen Williams is still a 69 to 87 goalkeeper. And let's hope that he grows for us when he turns 16. Monthly scouting update from Australia, and we have Andrew Helleran. He's a 62 to 86. Looks like he could be a forward of some description, and I'm going to get him into the squad. Okay, monthly scouting update. Helleran still a 69 to 89, and Williams, oh, he's dropped down to a 79. Oh, that's not what you want. Okay, youth scout report from Australia. Andrew Sisak, a 66 to 88 potential. Let's sign him up. And Michael Milligan, a 51 to 69, will reject. Now, Burdett's back, but let's see. Okay, there's a two-star, two-star scout in Callum Dewson. Uh, we'll sign him up. Okay, time to send our scouts out now. We've got the one-star and the two-star, two-star scout. For one-star, David Burdett, I'm going to send to England. Uh, we'll just send him there for the nine months. And Dewson, he'll be going to Australia. 
for nine months. Your squad monthly report, and Sisak is a 65 to 83. He is eligible to sign up, and we're just going to leave him there for now and see how he grows. Halloran, 72 to 88, still developing nicely. And Williams, well, he's gone back up. He was down to 79, now he's up to 82. Up and down like a yo-yo. Okay, here we go, Australia. And our two-star scout brings us back. Daniel Brilliante, 67 to 91, we'll sign him up. And Kuzminovsky, no thank you. Burdat brings us back. Dom Whitehead, 62 to 84. Uh, we'll scout for another month. Okay, monthly scouting update. Andrew Sisak is a 63 to 77. He's dropped off. Halloran is a 72 to 84. Looks like a left winger. Brilliante, a 71 to 89. And Williams, well, he's dropped back down to 77. Fuck knows what this kid's doing with his life. Monthly scouting update from Australia. We have a 50 to 70. We'll reject. Oh, yes. Michael Kamal, 70 to 94. Get him straight in. And Dejete, he's a 61 to 83. We'll scout him for another month. England brings us back. Uh, Whitehead, he's still 62 to 80. Not good enough. We'll reject him. And a 61 to 85 in, uh, how do you say that? Chizibola? Something like that. We'll scout him for another month. Your squad monthly report. Now, Sisak, 68 to 80. Halloran, 74 to 82. Brilliante, 67 to 83. Williams, 73 to 77, and Kamau, 68 to 88. Still looking pretty decent. Can I just give you a quick update? It is January 1st, halfway through the season, and we are currently sitting 12th. Nine wins, 10 draws, seven losses. A goal difference of plus eight, which is pretty good. And you can see there that we're only five points out of the promotional areas. So looking good at the halfway point of the season. Monthly scouting update from Australia brings us back Karim Fitzgerald, a 69 to 93. We're going to sign him straight up. Uh, Dejide, he is still an 83. We'll keep scouting him. And Santalab, oh my God, that's shocking. And our one-star scout from England brings us back James Goldson. We'll keep that keeper there at 82. Jordan Jones, 50 to 68, reject. Uh, Toshiba, 70 to 88 after two months. I'm going to sign him up. A 68 to 92, Otis Hines, get him in the club. And a 60 to 82 in oh, Rydhla. Fuck knows how you say that, but we'll leave him there for another month. Monthly scouting update from Australia, and we get Alex Kantarovsky. 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 Yep, that'll do. 68 to 92, could be playing anywhere on the ground. Let's offer him a contract. Uh, Dino Sprunovic, uh, he is shit. Mustafa Hall, he is also crap. Uh, Dejite, 66-82. We'll scout him for another month. We've scouted him for three months so far. We'll just leave him there. And Shane Pepper, 49-67. We will reject. But it's back from England. Oh, here we go. Bradley Boy, 68-92. Goalkeeper, sign him up. Uh, Goldson, no thanks. Nathan O'Grady, 65-87. We'll scout him for another month. Raymond, 66-88. We'll scout him for another month. And Rydalay has dropped down to 61 to 79. We'll reject. Okay, U Squad monthly report. And Kantorovsky has dropped down to an 83. Sizak is a 69 to 73. Holloran, 73 to 79. Boyce, a 69 to 87. Brilliante is a 72 to 80. Fitzgerald, a 67 to 83. Williams, a 73 to 77. Uh, Shibola is a 71 to 83. Kamau is a 71 to 83. And Hines, a 71 to 87. Monthly scouting update from Australia. And we have Aziz Regan, a 64 to 88. We'll scout for another month. Uh, another... Kazmanovsky, 64 to 88, we'll scout another month. Elder, 65 to 87, we'll scout for another month. Dejide, he's dropped right down, we'll get rid of him. And Harold is a 58 to 80, we'll reject him. England brings us back a 53 to 73. A 68 to 92, Gregory Riley, we'll get him in the squad. A 54 to 74, reject. A Grady's dropped down to an 80, so we'll reject him. And Richard Raymond, 65 to 83, we'll scout for another month. New squad monthly report, here we go. Uh, Kantorovsky is a 71 to 87. Sisak is 69 to 73. Halloran is 73 to 79. Boyce, 68 to 84. Brilliante, 72 to 78. Riley is a 71 to 91. Fitzgerald, a 69 to 81. Williams, 73 to 77. Shibolo, 72 to 80. Kamal is a 74 to 82, and Hines is a 71 to 83. Now, next month, they will get the bump, and I'll decide just before then who we should promote before the bump and who we should hold after. Monthly scouting update from Australia. Aziz Regan is a 71 to 89. We've scouted him for two months. Let's sign him up. 
Uh, Calburn, oh, 66, disgusting. Uh, 66 to 86, we'll sign him up as well. 73, no thank you. 66 to 84 in Radovan Elder. Uh, we'll give him a crack. And Ramsey is a 78. England brings us back. 61 to 81, reject. 54 to 74, reject. 59 to 81, reject. And Richard Raymond has dropped to a 79. We'll reject him too. Okay, so we've had the May bump. Let's have a look at the youth squad now. Kantorovsky, 56 to 66 overall with a potential of 73 to 85. Uh, looks like he could be all right. Let's offer him a contract. Sisak, 54 to 58, 69 to 73. We'll leave him there. Halloran, 73 to 79. We'll leave him there. Reagan, 67 to 83. Let's offer him a contract. Bradley Boy, 69 to 81, 54 to 64. Uh, we'll offer him a contract. Brilliante, 57 to 61, 72 to 78. We'll leave him there. Riley's got a nice bump. Fitzgerald, 56 to 62, 72 to 80. Uh, looks like a defensive midfielder. Could be pretty handy. Uh, we'll leave him there at the moment. Williams, well, he's not going to make the cut. We're going to release him. Chibolo, 55 to 59, 72 to 78 potential. We'll leave him there. Kamal, 56 to 60, 74 to 80. Physically strong. Um, probably help out our back line, but we'll leave him there for now. Otis Hines in the same boat. And Elder in the same boat. So just those couple will sign up just for now. Okay. Oh, Australia's brought us back. Bruce Calburn, 69 to 93. Get him in the squad. And Calver, he can piss off. England, 60 to 80. And 60 to 80. We'll leave them both there. All right. So that's the end of the normal games. And you can see here, we've managed to finish in third. 21 wins, 15 draws, 10 losses, a goal difference of 27 and 78 points. So we are in to a position where we could possibly get promoted depending on the playoffs. Now, I'm going to simulate the playoffs still, but I'm going to let you watch them. All right, we've got Sheffield United away. Got quite a few injuries at the moment. Uh, our star goalkeeper is out injured as well. Williams is having to take a turn between the sticks. 28, 30 minutes. Clark puts in a penalty. It's 1-0 to Bradford City. Move past half-time. A couple of changes. Clark puts in a second goal. That's 2-0 to Bradford City. Not long to go in the match. Final 10 minutes. Doko comes up for Hanson, and it's a 2-0 victory against Sheffield United in the League One playoff. Okay, and now we have the home leg of the playoff. We've got a 2-0 lead at the moment, and let's see if we can come away with a win here. Yellow card to Sheehan. Early on, 11th minute. Not much action going on here in the first half. Moving through to the second half now. Still no one. Moraes comes on. Dolan comes on. Must be pure midfield struggle. Gracia scores. It's 1-0 to Sheffield United. That's 2-1 on aggregate. And we win. 2-1 on aggregate against Sheffield United. All right. This is it, Swindon Town versus Bradford City. This is for promotion. Come on, Bradford. Get us into the championship. Oh, straight off the bat, Smith puts one in. It's 1-0 to Swindon. Yates picks up a yellow card. Pretty quiet for the rest of the first half. Moving into the second half now. No action whatsoever. After the first minute goal. 10 minutes to go. And it's a loss to Swindon Town. We lose 1-0 away from home. All right, let's have a quick look at the youth squad monthly report. Now, what I want to do here is go through. I'm going to see how many of these guys we can offer a contract, uh, even if it's just to sell them off at a later date and generate some cash and get us some better scouts. So let's have a look here. Sisak, 69 to 73, we'll offer him a contract. We'll give Elder a contract. Kamau a contract. That'll do for now. Monthly scouting update from Australia and Jovicic, 67 to 84. Uh, this might be the last month actually. What a, oh, another Kantorowski, 69 to 93. We'll sign him up. 
Alright, we'll give this kid a chance. The other two. Oh, I make the cut. England, what do you got for us? Nothing. Alright, it's time to do a wrap up at the end of this episode. We finished third for this season. Uh, unfortunately, Swindon knocked us out in the final championship game, so we won't get the promotion. Uh, but it is a great effort from Bradford City to fit that high up the ladder just in our first season. And once we have some of these youth players come through, hopefully that will help develop the talent within the squad and get us the promotion that we're looking for. We actually won the Johnson's Paint Trophy 3-0. So a little bit of silver there. We're there for uh, Bradford City straight in the first season. That's always good. Top scorer for the season was Yates. He picked up the golden boot with 24 goals. That's a great effort from him from the left mid. Uh, anyone else here? Hansen got 14 for himself. Clark got 13. So we did score quite a lot of goals. Assists Hansen with 10. So he did some work in the box for us for sure. Uh, he was the only real assist maker. Oh, Clark's got five and clean sheets. Let's have a look here. Bradford City, Lipman with 14 equal on top. Uh, he did get injured, was out for about two months. So he probably could have taken that one out, hopefully. All right, end of the season. Let us do a squad report. Ben Williams is a 62. Darby is a 66. He's gone up two. McKenzie's a 66. Gone up two. McArdle's a 64. Gone up two. Sheehan is a 65. Gone up one. Billy Knott, a 64. He's gone up two. Brocky's a 63. Gone up one. Halliday's a 65. He's gone up three. Yates is a 65. Gone up two. Clark's a 66. Gone up two. Hanson a 66. Gone up three. Soko's a 64. Gone down one. Fitzgerald is a 60. He's a new acquisition for us. Uh, we'll check these guys out a bit more in Season 2. Dolan's a 61, gone up 3. Moraes is a 63. Meredith a 61. McMahon's a 62, gone down 1. Steed a 61, gone down 1. Reagan is a 57. Sisak is a 57. Elder is a 56. Kamau is a 58. Boyce is a 61, he's gone up 1. Kantorowski a 60, he's gone up 1. Wright is a 51, gone up 4. Irwin's a 52, gone up one. Libman's a 69, he's gone up three. Rutus is a 58, gone up one. Little is a 64. Davies a 66, gone up one. And that is the full Bradford City squad as we end the first season. Okay, so the board's come back, said super season. They're fucking stoked how well we went this season, so that's great. And the Domestic Cup, well, they're not too happy with that one. So hopefully we can have a better luck next season with them. That brings episode one to a conclusion. I hope you have enjoyed it. Uh, you know, a lot of simming there, not a lot of action to bring to you. But we're just setting up. Season one is always going to be like this in a youth style series. And hopefully we see you in episode two, where we go through season number two. I'll see you then. I'm Spoon DK. Remember, it's five o'clock somewhere. Have a good one.